AI is a very ambiguous technology. What are some definitions currently used today? To learn more, I spoke to Meredith Broussard, Associate Professor at the Arthur L. Carter Journalism Institute at NYU. She spoke to me about AI, her work, and whether news organizations should be aware of ethics when employing AI in the newsroom. People tend to think a lot of Hollywood. When people think about artificial intelligence, they tend to first think about Hollywood. Uh, they think about the Terminator or Star Trek or Star Wars, uh, which is really fun, but it's important to remember that that is imaginary. So what's real about AI is that AI is math. It's very complicated and beautiful math. So what we do when we make a machine learning system or an AI system is we take a whole bunch of data, we feed it into the computer. We say, computer, make a model. Computer makes a model. The model shows the mathematical patterns in the data. And then once we have the model, we can use it to do all kinds of interesting things like make decisions or make predictions or generate new text or generate new audio or generate new images, right? So when we say generative AI, what we're talking about is a machine learning system where we've fed in a whole bunch of data and we're using a model to generate new text, images, audio, et cetera. Right. So it's important to keep in mind, as I said, what's real and what's imaginary about artificial intelligence. Language models have impacted my work because uh, I've been a researcher working on artificial intelligence for investigative reporting for many years. And uh, suddenly people are interested in talking about artificial intelligence. Uh, this was not the case five years ago. Uh, five years ago, I used to go to parties and people would kind of slink away when I said I worked on artificial intelligence. And now people are excited to talk about it. So that's really exciting to me. Uh, I am primarily engaged right now in talking about the ethics of artificial intelligence. And so language models are a really good way of talking about all of the many, many ethical issues embedded in uh, using and constructing technological systems. Uh, in journalism, uh, one of the things we do as investigative journalists is hold power to account. Uh, and in the AI-driven world, where algorithms are increasingly being used to make decisions on our behalf, that accountability function of the media has to transfer onto algorithms and their makers. So I am interested in algorithmic accountability reporting, which includes reporting with and about artificial intelligence models. I think that one of the places we need to start in understanding AI in the newsroom is we need to start with understanding that people have been using AI in the newsroom for a really long time. Uh, you are using AI every time you do a Google search. You're using AI every time you generate an automated transcript, right? So we are, uh, we're using these tools and there are ethical issues that happen always. Uh, and we do need to consider them. Uh, should they always be roadblocks? It really depends on the context. A really important, uh, important thing to do in these kinds of conversations is to tie use of AI to a particular context. So there are problems with every AI system. Uh, automated transcripts, for example, are biased against uh, people with uh, particular kinds of accents or people who use certain kinds of dialects. Uh, you know, that is a that is a fact. Uh, facial recognition, for example, is biased against people with darker skin. It's better at recognizing men than women. It generally does not recognize trans and non-binary folks at all. Uh, there are problems inside every single automated system. And uh, as journalists, we should recognize that those problems exist 
And uh, I'm particularly interested in investigating those problems and discovering how do they uh, impact people's lives, often negatively. Thank you.